my name is Yifoma and I'm running to be your youth MP. Living in a time where many young people's concerns or opinions are deemed inexperienced or just overlooked, many feel they have no say in their environment. This could be from grand political actions to having to follow an irritating bus schedule. This is why, as your youth MP, I'll make it my top priority to hold discussions and act upon all of the issues, from the smallest to the largest. It is clear that we're in desperate need for safe spaces for youth, where we could showcase our creativity and escape the stressfulness of home life. It is also clear we should have more mental health support in schools from professionals, where they could help us with all of our issues, whether they be big or small. Vote for me, and I will be improving Peterborough for you, our youth, our future. I'm Miriam Selleck and I'd love to be your youth MP. I want to represent you and make your voices heard. My top three priorities are 1. The environment. Climate change means most of Peterborough will flood by 2050 and there are disasters worldwide now. I already lead Peterborough Youth Council's environment group. Building on my community litter picks, I will increase recycling. Building on my fight for safer cycling, I will cut car use and air pollution. 2. Mental health. One in six young people have a mental health problem. This is appalling. I will prioritise shorter waiting times and holistic support through empowerment and inclusion. Three, education. As students, we know exam stress. So, I want to campaign to reform GCSEs and A-levels to assess people's ability with less stress. I will campaign for an inclusive curriculum, adding life skills to support votes at 16. If you share my passion and priorities, vote for me. Vote for me, Miriam Salek because I make a difference for you, for Peterborough and for our planet. Hi, I'm Lucy and I'm here to become the UKP for Peterborough. I want to give back the voice for our generation. An issue I feel passionately about is the rise in poor mental health. According to the NHS website, one in six children suffer with a mental disorder. This has increased from 2017 when it was one in nine. I aim to work with teams who are part of this statistic and help decrease it. I also want to campaign for a smaller class size to help improve productivity and help you learn faster. An issue I want to bring to light is changing the style of examination to adapt it for a wider range of abilities. A way I would do this is adding more practicals into the exams. Thank you and vote Lucy for your future. My name is Eva Woods. No matter how powerful our movements become, young people are always painted as victims. Last year, young people cried out about the sexual harassment they experience in schools every day. The media may have been shocked, but what changed? I will ensure schools stop normalising this behaviour and create adults with boundaries and respect. One in 16 people in the UK show signs of an eating disorder, yet the issue remains branded as banter. I will develop curriculums that acknowledge eating disorders, remove stigma and stop their normalisation. There is hope that we won't be the lost generation, our education ruined by Covid. I will campaign for central government to remove university fees. Young people are sick of people using our protests to paint us as victims. I speak for a world where we are seen as more than our bodies, our income and our ages. On youth issues, we know best and we are tired of being ignored. As your youth MP, I won't just perform, I'll interrogate. I'm Rebecca Hall and I'm delighted to be standing as your youth MP. Our generation is the future. I'll support your academic success through working with ARU, Peterborough's new university, to bring to you inspiring lectures and opportunities. I'll work with our schools to create inter-school academic challenges such as chess and coding competitions, which will allow you to learn from the best and get the recognition that you deserve. The community is at the heart of Peterborough. Together we will strengthen our community by cleaning the need, giving Peterborough the river it deserves. We will fundraise together with the community and the council 
to purchase textbooks to be stocked at a Peterborough library. In a current digital age, mental well-being can be a challenge for us. I will improve our mental well-being by working with professionals to bring relaxation techniques to your school. Fun is a critical part of happiness. I'll organise fun events such as barbecues, music festivals and sports. Vote for your success. Vote for Rebecca Alton. My name is Tom Wynaby and I'm running as a candidate to be your Peterborough Youth MP. My first agenda is to make sure that we have a diverse range of figures that we celebrate within our British educational curriculum. This includes black historical figures and Asian historical figures, along with other ethnic minorities. This will ensure that the diverse population we have here within Peterborough is celebrated and is incorporated within the educational system. My second agenda is to make sure that every Peterborough primary, secondary, sixth form and college has a debate team. This will ensure that the socio-economic and political ideas that we see within the news is explored within the classroom. This will provide the youth the voice which we can then use when it's time for us to make the decisions. A vote for me is a vote for you, a vote for change and a vote for your future. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kira Bianca Balog. Our future depends on how we become responsible. I'm someone who likes challenges and I think this position is not only an enormous opportunity but it's also challenging. My main program is improving the educational system, exploring the opportunities provided by education and passing the information and opportunities for the students who see their future in further learning at a higher education with awareness and motivational programs. I would like to have inter-school dialogues for career guidance days that will cover graduation, admission requirements and scoring, which could be important information for all. I have many more ideas besides this. I can't promise you exactly three issues that I will work on as I believe that you must be open to the world. Every moment of every day there is always something new happening. I don't want to promise something I can't accomplish, but I believe in teamwork and I am and will be open to the issues raised by the future colleagues. I hope I can accomplish what I have planned and I hope you will trust me too. If you like what you heard, please wait for me. If you'd like to know more, make sure to check my full manifesto. My name is Matthew Carr and I'm running for Youth MP. First of all, I want to address the massively important issue of mental health for young people. Every school and community across Peterborough must be a place that is supportive, that is accepting and that is understanding of young people's needs. This means understanding that young people's needs are varied. As a disabled person, I'm critically aware of this. Second, I want to tackle the massive issue of climate change. Young people are going to be the ones that are left to deal with the damage of climate change. Right now, not enough is being done. And if I'm elected, I will work to ensure that this changes. Finally, I want to address the issues of inequality across Peterborough and the UK as a whole. Whether it's youth homelessness, homophobia in schools, racism or countless other issues, I am very aware as a queer person that more must be done to ensure Peterborough is a place that all young people can thrive. Vote for me, Matthew Carr, but I will deliver the real change that young people want and deserve. Hi, my name is Eliza and I'm signed to be a youth MP. I want to show young people easy ways to find opportunities and have a voice. You may be asking, how can I make things easier for you? Firstly, I want to make higher education more accessible by introducing new programs, courses and discussing what universities want in applicants. This includes options outside of university and overall helping people despite their situation. Climate change is another daunting subject and I'm not asking you to change your lifestyle. Instead, I will bring up small and cost-effective ways to save our environment because everyone making small changes can facilitate big progress. Furthermore, many view certain rules as unfair and discriminatory and therefore they can't change them I pledge to help students make a decision and have a voice. I want to make things easier for you. Thank you.